What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Truth and I appreciate you guys tuning in for another video today. Today I have my first unboxing of 2020. I haven't been doing too many videos. I haven't really picked up much, been really offloading a lot of kicks over this um this first couple of months this year, but first pickup, first review 2020, and it's a dope one, man. You know I'm a Jordan 1 head, so it will be a Jordan 1. But before I get up into this unboxing, Make sure you guys subscribe to the page, to the channel. You know, I appreciate all the love so far. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get notified for all my videos. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. So let's get right off into it. So I'm kind of going to do a comparison after I give you my thoughts. You guys have seen this this shoe. Um, today is 2 20 It's the memorial service for Kobe Bryant. Rest his soul. Y'all know that was my dog. Um, so today was a, a tough day for a lot of people. So... Still can't believe he gone, but you know what I'm saying. We gonna try to we gonna try to instill that Mamba mentality in our videos and everything I do. You know what I'm saying. Just enjoy your time with your family, man. Appreciate everybody. Do things that's gonna leave a legacy of kindness. But yeah. So we got the white. I mean the red and black Jordan One box. So it's like the reverse box. So y'all already know it's one of the fearless pack. We seen this first in 2019 at the end of 2019. Um, with the whole Fearless co collection in December, we're from November to December. A lot of different Jordan ones dropped. Um, and this one here dropped during All Star break. We had a lot of shoes that dropped during All Star break, and I decided to pass on them. And it was one of those shoes that everybody was just saying it was going to be hard to get, super limited. The resale was going to be crazy. And to be honest with you, the resale has completely plummeted. It's dropped. Um, you can get them from dang near $10 above. Uh, Retail depending on where you know a lot of the resellers that had them that got five or six pairs are actually you know what I'm saying dropping dropping the price down so As you can see here this one hope that's focusing for y'all This one here is a women's exclusive, but they did up to extend the size that went up all the way up to a man's 14 I want to say that's what it was um, Or women's 14 something like that. But anyway, so as I take it out the um, out the box it's the Air Jordan 1 uh, UNC to Chicago Women's Edition that we had the uh, Fearless Women's Edition that we had the one for the men that dropped and I'm going to do a comp comparison to the two to and, and kind of talk through them and talk about which one I like the best out of all of them but I know you guys have seen the review on these but I'm going to say the leather on these is buttery the tumble is where it tumbled it's super tumble very dope shoe I'm really feeling the hang tag on the side is red and it's kind of like the same leather as um, you see on the shoe and then just along like I want you guys to really see look at that man look at the way that leather is so plush man you know what I'm saying so very good leather but we have the UNC colorway on the um, the back of the shoe the butt of the shoe all the way wrapping around you have the Jordan wings in black right there on the, on the shoe and then you have the black tongue standard Jordan 1 tongue and you know for for all you guys out there that maybe you're still on the fence about getting these shoes off StockX or GOAT or something like that um the cut on these shoes are the same exact height of, as the men and I'll show you guys that in a second but it is a little bit of uh differences in the men as far as the packaging and the women's and stuff like that but you have the black going around the toe box of the shoe you have the red on the on, on exactly on the toe box and then on the bottom, you have the red bottom, the white midsole, and on the inside of the shoe, you have the uh, red and then the black Nike Air right there. You know, you have a black um, sock liner, and I will say this, the sock line on, line on this thing is really, really plush, so that's dope. But like I said, this one is a size 12.5, it was 170, so it's $10 more. Um, which converts to a size 11 in men. Now, when you look at that, you have to look at the, so for the for the women's shoe, it's the same box as the men. You can see same box. But the paper for the women is not like the paper for the men. You know, you have the whole um, limits like theirs are often just an illusion. D during that 2019 fearless campaign or whatever so it's a little bit different 
But if we're looking at both of the shoes, so if we're looking at both of the shoes and we talk about the height and the cut, like I said, really similar. Like I said, not a difference in the height or the cut. So for all you guys out there that are saying that, you know, it's a big difference in the height and the cut for these, nah, same thing. Um, I will say that, in my opinion, if they would have done, if, if you ask me which one I like better, I'm gonna say I like this one better than this one just because I feel like that if, if these would have been this leather the material on the on this one is just man it's off the hook man super buttery real nice creamy leather and then you have the patent leather on these which is not bad you know what I'm saying but this gives this gives me more of an OG retro feel you know what I'm saying but both both dope shoes you see the differences in them, you know, the white and the reds and stuff like that. The blues are the blues are a little bit Hard work and dedication is the means. If they fresh out the box, then you gotta keep them clean. There's that knowledge in your walk when you step on the scene. Technology ain't no apology. Don't make it hard, man. Ain't trigonometry. You gotta be smart when you shop. Are you looking for authentic? If you are, then stop. Cause you probably will regret it. Say no synthetic. No synthetic. If they ready, we'll let you know if you should go and get a We got back. We got two. Um, dope shoe. Uh, it came with. Did it come with multiple laces though? Got the black laces. Huh? Just black laces, man. That's all I see in here. And this came from Finish Line. You guys, let me know if y'all got multiple color laces. But this is the only laces I see in this box, so maybe I should have checked that uh, from purchasing this shoe. So there is one complaint I do have with the construction uh, of the shoe, and I've seen this on other people's reviews as well. But if you look along, along the midsole, I'm gonna try to show that to you guys. You see right there? Right there. It's like a piece of knit stitching. It's like blue stitching thread that's poking out the shoe it's like a it's like a ingrown hair or a gray hair on the key you know what i'm saying stands out but a lot of people are telling me that they they had the same thing alone now, i only had one alone the shoe that just that one um but i've seen other reviews and you guys let me know if you had multiple ones on yours of those stitching throughout the midsole but you guys let me know in the comment section. So y'all, y'all see what it is. Let me know if y'all was able to purchase it. And if you're thinking about getting it off StockX, in my opinion, it would be a good purchase. Or, or, or off of um, GOAT, be a good purchase, a good pickup. Nice you to have in your collection. But I'm going to do an on foot for y'all real quick of the Air Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago ladies version. Standing sizes, man. You guys stay tuned. It's your boy Truth. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Rock what you like, not what's hype. I'm gone. Technology. Technology. Them hard, I should cop me a pair. Jordan ain't the only one that's an air as I'm walking upstairs. I prefer that you follow me up there, but you still gotta know what you wear. I'm so glad I was spared, like the very last pair. When you walk into the mall and you think they ain't there, so you say a little prayer. You don't wanna be so vain, but if I get them in my hands, I'll give them the best care. Introducing a fresh new brand, following the dreams. Faith, hard work, and dedication is the means. If they fresh out the box, then you gotta keep them clean there's that knowledge in your walk when you step on the scene technology ain't no apology don't make it hard man it ain't trigonometry you gotta be smart when you shop are you looking for authentic if you are then stop because you probably will regret it this ain't no synthetic no synthetic get they ready we'll let you know if you should go and get a we got fat we got two never slack on the roof for ogs and the you you can kick it with us too technology We got you, never slack on the proof for OGs in the U. You can kick it with us too. Kick knowledge, kick knowledge, kick knowledge, kick knowledge. We got fat, we got you, never slack on the proof for OGs in the U. You can kick it with us too. Now, see, see, we got the answer, but faith is important.